you might have seen it guys patch 14.10 is coming and it's an absolute nightmare for Trindamir, at least on paper ghost is nerfed from 15 seconds to 10 seconds no more tenacity runes adc's items are completely changed and it doesn't let us any great option left for that video i'm gonna be looking at the pbe looking at all the items all the changes that have been announced and trying to find a way to play Trindamir for next patch and next split because it's gonna be split too i think i found it and i'm practicing it right now on the live server so you can hop in on stream and try to make your own opinion about it anyway thank you for being here hope you enjoyed the video much love also i forgot no more little tempo little tempo doesn't exist <laughs>
Watch Fox video PTA sort of works like further better, like in season six, where you can keep up the eight percent damage buff by being in constant combat mode. Yeah, yeah. So PTA is changed now, and exactly what you said. Uh, now, once you stack PTA, you're gonna keep the extra damage for the whole duration of the fight. But think about lethal tempo. You, you used to get way more than 8% extra DPS value. Because here it's just going to be like 8% extra DPS value. With Lethal Tempo, you got more range, more attack speed, so more autos, so more AD. But also more uh, autos means more resets on your E. Uh, so yeah, more crit, so more resets on your E, so more E damage. So it was way more than 8% damage. So PTA is still like worse than Lethal Tempo was. But also, the first item you're gonna buy is gonna be worse than what Lethal Tempo was. So if you want to commit to playing Trin the way you you were trying to play Trin, you're just taking nerf on nerf on nerf on nerf. Do you like the content? If no, what are you doing here? If yes, feel free to drop a sub, bro. And that's kind of my thing. So I've been thinking a lot about it, and I've been watching uh, Rangers testing yesterday, and I think the wait. If you build collector, you have like I like didn't understand what made Kraken first so good into bruisers and yeah, most most days, most ma most matchups was because you got AD, crit, and attack speed. But now you have to give one of the three. Here it's like AD attack speed. I mean this didn't change. This is attack speed crit zero AD. This is attack speed crit zero AD. We're gonna run fast, that's for sure. Like 7% move speed, 7% move speed, 10% move speed. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if you run fast because you don't have tenacity anymore. Because there's no tenacity runes. So you have legit zero tenacity. I mean, you can take 10% in runes, but it's not gonna do much. So, I feel like if you were to commit to the old build and build path, maybe... You need to go Borg first into... What are you liking now? Uh, you're liking some crits. And these two items are kind of cheap. So you can go Borg, Navori. But, but, but the thing is, how do you actually deal your damage? You're so easy to kite with your tenacity. Because then it could be PD, IE, Armor Pen item. And the thing is, uh, full builds are going to be really good. Like, that's not a problem. Like, full items, I mean, really good. They're gonna be decent. But you don't really care about that on Trent. You wanna spike. And you don't have insane spikes. So maybe an alternative. People were talking about, like, BFPD. But I was more thinking about uh, Zeal. And then IE, straight up. Because when you think about it, AE, bro, it gives 80 damage. So it kind of compounds for the fact that you're not going to have uh, AD on PD. And then... Yeah, but you have zero attack speed, actually. You have zero attack speed. Reckon no scales, because the damage incoming is based on missing HP now. Noon Quiver with PTA proc is insane. Let's see. Yeah, but Noon Quiver, it's, but it's still a nerf though. Look at how bad the bases are. So you're gonna base and you're gonna be forced into like buying. I mean, it's, it's more expensive. The build path is less good. You don't want to buy crit so early. It was so good to be able to buy double long sword, then some attack speed that could go into boots, could go into Noon Quiver, etc. Uh, let's look at Kraken. Does it scale? Well, the thing is, like, you could think it scales because it's um, based on their missing health. But the thing is, it's, it's physical damage. So it means that it doesn't really stay, uh, scale because it gets countered by armor, like it, like it, do, like it does already, you know. Like Kraken later on, you don't want to buy Kraken as a fourth or fifth item. Because by this time, people have a lot of armor and, and the physical damage from Kraken is going to be mitigated by at least 50%. So, nope. I don't think it, it actually scales. Kraken, but the thing is, Kraken is... Like, like you want to you wanna build the first item with zero crits? How do you reset your E? Look at my E right now. Look at my E. Oh, 
Okay, now I crit once. <laughs> like, like... That's really bad. That's really bad. Yeah, there's more pen. Okay, so I'm now gonna tell you my take and the way I'm gonna be able to play through in the mirror, which is gonna feel boring to some of you, but some of you are gonna love it. Wait, what are these? Wait, 35 move speed, your recall is empowered? After traveling a certain amount of distance, you gain 45 move speed when out of combat. What the fuck is that? Oh, but there's no more mobis. Those are the new mobis. Oh, but you back so fast. What? I feel like this is going to be more OP than Mobis. Okay. So my take is going to be kind of what the Koreans are doing already. You go Hydra every game and you can go Zerkers. So you at least have some attack speed and you're just going to play the waves and you're going to perma split. And you could consider an early hold breaker, actually. But most likely, PD is pretty cheap, so you can still do Hydra PD. And you have AD from Hydra. And then. Then it could be Bork. Could be Navori. If you want to fight a bit. And if you don't want to fight at all, you could go like straight up like for hold breaker, third or fourth with Bork, and then if you want defensive stats, because you don't have old Warbreaker anymore, you actually go Jack Show, and this way you're just kind of a ball of stats that runs on the map. You have armor, you have magic resist, you have AD, you have some attack speed, you have, you have some haste, you have some move speed, like you, you have some of everything, you know. But you're gonna be way weaker in teamfights, but you're way weaker in teamfights already, because because you don't have tenacity and because you don't have good items that allow you to snowball in laning phase and get the leads and get your items before your opponents get their defensive items. Maybe in a very plus BF for early spike. Yeah, like, like the thing is, if like you will have to do something like wait, where are my items? I don't want recommended all items. Okay. You will have to do something like this, maybe. But what are the problems with that? Is in laning phase, you're often gonna do a lot of bases. You're gonna crash through three wave base. Then you're gonna come back, uh, get the crash, bounce the wave again, get a plate, maybe base. And then you're gonna but you're never getting 1300 gold base, or very rarely. Like, the thing is, if you look at any single trend game, like, you base and you buy two longsword and tier one boots, and then you base and then you finish your two longsword, you turn them into, into Noon Quiver, and then you buy uh, some attack speed that's going to build into tier two boots. And then you base again and you finish your tier two boots and you get your crit. And you always have something, layers of stats to build on top of each, each other. Here, if you're going to wait to have, like, a 1300 gold I mean, like so many teams are gonna just stay and stay off tempo and not actually have Ryo because you're waiting for the 1300 gold to actually get your BF. And if you don't and you rush, you just rush Navori, well, what do you do into Tabais? What does this build do into Tabais? Absolutely nothing. Just Tabais counters this. And Tabais wardens, and it's absolutely unplayable, you know. So that's the issue. Like, then you could say, okay, but what if I do pickaxe instead? Well, in then you only have 25 AD, you know? It's not it's not that much. Against 25 armor, basically. <laughs> Navari seems better over PD, because you don't need to create reduce abilities to, for the new Navari. Well, yeah, kind of. But then it also depends on the champions that you're facing. Like, the thing is, if you're playing zero tenacity, let's say, into Gragas, and you have Navori... Well, it doesn't matter that you're going to reset your abilities with, with autos because he's just going to perma, perma, K2. He's going to EU, run, Q, U, run, EU, run, Q, U, run, and you're never going to even hit an auto, you know? Did it reduce the auto reduction on Tabais? Yeah, that's something. But you still have the armor issue and your A is not going to deal a little damage and 8% and is still something. Like, the thing is... This is overall 
a nerf in in the early game at least because again like the thing that the fact that crit items give 25 percent crit chance the fact that ie is so strong now the fact that you can build navori and ie at the same time it means that the mid game and the late game probably are better now with crit items but the early is shit but the problem is the way trindamir exists is that the champion needs to get a lead and needs to snowball on that lead. If you don't have a lead, if you don't have, don't have more gold than your opponent, it's going to be really hard to have an impact. And you're kind of dependent on your team. So, if they just edit the new item Tai, it will be playable. What's the new item Tai? Yun Tai with the rose, critical attacks deal 60 additional damage over 2 seconds. Does it stack forever? Like, do you get a stack on top of a stack on top of a stack on top of a stack? Wait cannot see i'd like to see please top one two wait what if i build a ton of attack speeds okay let's build as much attack speed as we can at 60 percent at 55 percent that i mean also we kind of want some crits we are already at 100% crit. Uh, 40% here. Okay, dust tech. But wait, does it only deal... Okay, okay. So every auto is 92 extra damage over 2 seconds, but it's, like, it's AD damage again. Like the thing is, this item gives 0 attack speed. It gets mitigated by armor. The, the dot gets mitigated by armor. I don't know about that one. I really don't know about that. It sounds so shit. I don't know. Oh, the numbers in tooltip is bugged from Fox video. From okay, okay, I see. Well, basically, my take now is un 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 unless they change the items and they do insane changes and they actually give us a good first item and a good build path. From item 1 to item 2 to 3, etc. Like, like Trinomir is not lacking much to actually be really good with that new patch. Uh, what he's lacking is, well, tenacity is going to be a big problem, not going to lie. But then just like, if we had old Kraken Slayer. And then the fact that PD is so cheap, that Navori is so cheap. That you can go like Kraken Navori IE. Like, this is... I mean, if Kraken had crits, imagine if had Kraken had crits, I would be at 100% now with some AD, with some attack speed, with my autos resetting, or my abilities resetting. Like, that would be pretty good. But yeah, like we, we just need a good first item, and of course some tenacity. But who can give up one of the two, you know? But if you have zero tenacity and zero first good item, I feel like I'm just gonna be peace chilling, even sometimes buying uh, buying mercs, mercs, hydra, pd, then maybe bork, old breaker. I mean, it depends if I'm fighting or not. You know, like the thing is, if 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 I start. Playing a lot of Hydra, I would start understanding, like, in what situations do I want to go PD second, do I want to go Holebreaker second. I may try some Holebreaker first, as some people were, uh, were talking about. Uh, I know that some people are doing that already on the current patch. I'm just personally not convinced about it. Compared to Hydra first, I feel like Hydra first is, like, 10 more times more valuable. And this could be Zerkers. Don't have an issue with that. And PD. Then, yeah. As I said, either hole, either this. If I'm actually being contested, this. 
and legit jack show last item sounds sounds the best and then you just play to play demolish procs on turrets and you just play the map and you never group problem is even it's here in a bad spot i think the items are garbage well the thing is yeah it's it's the same problem for all the adcs that what's their first item then what's an adc first item you could say, well, some, some ADC really like Essence River, but it doesn't have Sheen anymore. And usually people who like Essence River like to have Sheen. I mean, most mostly S. Then you have... Then you have the same problem, you know. If they build Crack and Slayer, they're not building Crit. You, they want to build Crit, especially because Crit items give 25% Crit. So you don't want to miss on 25% Crit. But then if you build an item that gives 25% Crit... You have zero AD, and if you buy these two, you have well zero AD still. <laughs> like it's it's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I guess I guess it's gonna be like just like earlier this season, all the ADCs that were being played, and it's gonna still the case. Uh, they're on hit or lethality ADCs. Like I was watching PSG versus uh, FlyQuest, and you know it's Kalista lethality. It's uh, on hit virus. It's uh, Senna that doesn't really build crit. So crit items are already shit. <laughs> now they're gonna get shittier. So maybe the tech is gonna be to find something in the fighters' items, like Borg or like I don't know. Like if you can go Shojin first on some champions, if you can go Triforce first, like you go Triforce into PD. Yeah, uh, like that could work on some champions, you know, like Triforce into, I don't know, like crit items, but you need to first get some AD. And if you have a champion that can spike at one item with a, with one of these items and do a mix of on hit and crit, maybe that could work. And of course, trade is still on the table. What did we used to do after Stride? We used to do Navori. But then the thing is, the problem is, if by the time you have two items, you only have 50 attack damage. Well, by the time you have two items and you're facing whatever champion on the rift, by the time you have two items, they're going to have more than, like, they're going to have some armor to counter you. So they're going to have armor and you have zero tenacity. So your damage is going to be really low. So yes, you can stick on... Like, this is good into squishes. Into squishes, you have plenty of builds. Like, okay, maybe into queen top, you can actually afford to go PD first. But if the queen is, is smart, she's going to buy tabis and you're going to deal zero damage to her. And then, again, she souls you, she ease you. Like, I don't know. It sounds, it sounds so bad. We play tanks in all lanes. And it's a tilt for tanks we build it here for item. <laughs> True. No, but legit, I think like I I'm just gonna do that, and and I didn't even talk about the runes, like the fact that of course this is all that they said regarding the items, is without even talking about the fact that we don't have lethal tempo anymore, because we don't have lethal tempo anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you need even more attack speed. But if you buy attack speed, you're not getting AD because the items don't give both, and the the items that give insane amounts of attack speed don't give insane amounts of AD. Like, what is this, man? And now, uh, let me show you the runes real quick. Because in terms of runes, I also had a problem. So, yeah, you could say PTA, but I mean, it's just... Uh, like, I don't want a, bu a budget lethal tempo, you know? Lethal tempo was already, already nerfed and pretty pretty weak, so I don't want to budget that, you know? Uh, you could consider fleet, but then what? Okay, I'm going Triumph, Alacrity, and last ten as usual. This sounds so shit. And then it's gonna revitalize or demolish, revitalize, etc. My take is that might as well take grasp, demolish, second and revitalize, um, play D shield almost all the time. Go back to D shield. Um and then and then the problem is like second second tree. Because I used to take magical footwear and uh Demet and Demet was so good. 
Because then, yes, you don't have TP, but you have a DMAT to gain tempo when you're not supposed to gain tempo. And you're just playing to demolish frogs. Like the, the goal is just to get the, the turrets as soon as possible. By the way, I'm going to stop banning Malphite. And I'm going to start banning Fiora. Because this version of Trin actually counters Malphite. It's not the counter, but it means that like if you're playing 100 games against Malphite, you're going to win 55 of them. It's, it's just like consistently slightly better than Malphite. But it's not better than Fiora, because Fiora just does what what this does, but better. Uh, she's just going to go Hydra as well, and she's just going to do it better than you, basically. So I was thinking, like, yeah, like footwear, but then what? Like this doesn't give you shit. This doesn't give you shit. So maybe Cosmic Insight, but you don't really use your sums. And item haze, like 10 item haze for Hydra. Meh. Doesn't sound too good. Uh, this doesn't sound too good for each different set gain from items gain one jack stat, each stack gives you one haste and then you gain five and ten stacks, meh, meh. So I was like, okay, not that tree. Then I was like, maybe that tree will triumph you're not going to use it because you're not playing to kill. I like pretty, why not? Some attack speed. And then cut down no because you're going to have some HP from grasp and from your build. Um, I mean just from grasp actually. Then you have... Pretty high base HP. Last 10, not really, because you're going to be perma high HP with Hydra. This, not really. Killing a target heals you while you don't kill targets. So this is shit. And I was like, maybe this tree? Well, this tree maybe you could go Taste of Blood, so you have even more sustain. And then either Gospor if you want to play Yellow Trinket or Zombie Ward if you want to play Red Trinket. Like one of the two and then i was like probably the best idea just to go in games that are like where you have good scaling you go gathering storms so you have well even better scaling for your team and then you go absolute focus and because when you're gonna crash a wave you're gonna be full hp from crashing that wave because of hydra and then you have a bit of extra id because of absolute focus and extra id because of gathering storm yeah <laughs> That's 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 my take now. Actual problem: we don't have any method to get AD. If they solve this, we have a chance. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my take as well. Like we just need a good first item that gives us AD, attack speed, and crit. They will surely give some compensation buffs for Trinidad, though. So we have to see what they do. Well, the issue is this might keep Trinidad alive. Like I know the Koreans, the high yellow Koreans that are doing Trinidad this way, they're gonna keep doing Trinidad this way. Like they're almost all rushing Hydra. If you look at one tricks.gg and you type Trinidad mirror, and I'm gonna share my screen here. And then you go in Korea. Look at that. Look at the items the Koreans are building. There's a trend in Korea. Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. Everyone's buy buying Hydra in Korea. So the thing is, they're going to do it. I'm going to do it myself. Some people are going to watch me and follow my take and do it. Some people are actually already doing it. So this is going to keep Trindamir's win rate pretty high. And the thing is, Riot only looks at win rates. The way they balance champions is win rates. I, I feel like this is a very stupid way of doing it. But that's how they do it. So Trindamir's win rate is going to stay actually around 50% and maybe a bit higher than 50%. Because you do that really well, like you, you do cancel someone and play the map really well compared to other champions. So they might not give a buff to Trinomir because of that. If everything is dead to know that they think about it, a lot of things are dead now. Like there's gonna be so many changes, like so, so many changes. I don't know much about Lethality Pain uh, build path though. To know that you can keep PTA proc by attacking minions. Oh, even by attacking minions. Well, interesting, but still, it's still not as good as old Lethal Tempo. It's 8%, like, the same, like, it's, okay, it's 8% extra damage, but you have no damage because the items are shit, and you have no way of actually applying your damage because the items are shit and you have no tenacity. So, you get 8% extra damage that you're gonna use on minions, basically. And again, Lethal Tempo, when it was stacked in all lanes, it gave, it gave you way more than 8% extra DPS. This only gives you extra 8%. So 
So it's like budget lethal tempo. And I might as well like play another version of Trindomir than play a weaker version of Trindomir. That was already weak, by the way. No more Storm Razor, plus no more Shin on Essence River. Yes, this as well. Which is bad because Storm Razor actually started to fit in plenty of my builds. I was doing a lot of Hydra into Storm against Vayne, against like uh, these champs. Hey Shadow can chat, have a good day all. Thank you so much, Silver Knights. Have a great day as well. C'est bien du ferrier, pas de ferrier ici hein. Mais merci Silver. Je know that you can kill, okay, so I read that they are killing ADCs. Yeah, like I feel like all the ADCs that are gonna be uh, surviving this are gonna be those who can play mixed builds and those who play on it or lethality basically. Okay, well that was my take. I think I think yeah, thirty minutes is good enough. Uh, this is going on on YouTube uh, today actually. So keep in mind that this is the first day of PBE. They're gonna change a lot of things. Until then, people are gonna complain. People are gonna do tests, etc. So a lot of things are gonna change. Uh, on my end, I would go on the live server and start playing some Grasp again and Hydra Rush. Like, there's no point in strengthening my uh, knowledge on Lethal Tempo and on the current build if it's going to completely change. Uh, PD is not going to change that much. It gives no ID, but Hydra is not changing. Grasp is not changing. So, I mean, basically, these whole runes are not changing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start practicing that today. Uh, I would try to post the videos also. In the, in the next couple of days. I would do like one old vid, one new vid, one old vid, one new vid, something like this. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep up on the, on the data, on the info regarding all of that. So you can join my Discord server because I think we're going to discuss a lot of the new items on my Discord server. So I put the link in the description um, and, and you can just stay aware of the YouTube channel and drop a like, a follow, a sub, something. Uh, so you, you stay aware of our advances regarding the new items and ways to play through the mirror. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching it. Uh, next video is going to be in 12 hours. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck, have fun gaming in real life. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. Much love.